At Seoul ADEX 2025, a young hawk stole the skies. South Korea's KF-21 Gormai, sleek, confident, and unapologetically modern, delivered a jaw-dropping aerobatic display that did more than thrill a crowd. It announced South Korea's arrival as a major aerospace power and a serious contender in the global fighter jet arena. The undisputed star was Prototype 005, a Block Y representative. Under clear autumn skies, it leapt into a high G climb, then carved the air with tight turns, barrel rolls, vertical loops, and a high alpha pass that showcased aerodynamic grace and thrust efficiency. Slow speed passes with the landing gear retracted revealed precise low speed handling and mature digital flight control laws. The kind of control authority combat pilots demand for dispersed base operations or short strip contingencies. Spectators felt the twin engines surge to full afterburner as the Boromai scythed across the horizon, vapor cones blooming, the echo rolling over the sky. Defense analysts noted crisper energy retention than the 2023 show evidence of software optimization and aerodynamic fine-tuning. Inside the cockpit, a helmet-mounted display and wide-area touchscreen panels signaled cutting edge. Digital avionics approaching Western fifth-generation standards. International delegations from the Philippines, Malaysia, and Saudi Arabia watched closely. Confidence rose. Interest deepened. The Boromai literally Young Hawk was born from the KFX vision in the early 2000s. Replace aging F-4 Phantom II and F-5 Tiger II fleets, and build at home what had long been bought abroad. Progress wasn't linear. Technology restrictions, budget friction, and a steep climb in stealth shaping and avionics integration forced innovation. KAI and the Agency for Defense Development pushed ahead Indonesia joined as a 20% stakeholder, while Seoul led the program. By 2021, the first prototype rolled out of Sachion. In July 2022, the maiden flight confirmed aerodynamic stability and sensor functionality at fourth-plus generation levels. Each subsequent prototype stretched the envelope with 05, the most refined-to-date operational-grade avionics and weapons integration ready for prime time. Block I sits in the 4.5 generation abridged toward full stealth. Powered by twin GE F414, GE 400K. Turbofans license produced by Hanwha Aerospace. Delivering roughly 50,000 pounds of combined thrust, the jet sprints past Mach 1.8, climbs to 50,000 feet, and ranges beyond 1,500 nautical miles for extended patrols over the East China Sea or the DMZ. An AESA radar, electro-optical targeting system, and IRST developed with Hanwha Systems, fuse into a modern situational awareness picture. Link 16 compatible data links extend its view across allied networks. A semi-stealth approach with RAM coatings, faceted intakes, and semi-recessed stations reduces the radar signature well below legacy F-16 levels. External carriage supports AM-120, AMRAM, Meteor, and the indigenous AM-2000K class, plus JDM, GBU-12 Paveway 2, KGGB Glide Bombs, and SLAM ER for Maritime Strike. With 10 hardpoint 6 underwing and 4 under fuselage a 16.9 meter length, 11.2 meter wingspan, and 25,400 kilogram maximum takeoff weight, the KF-21 balances agility and range, larger than the F-16 Block 70, yet lighter than the F-15K. Future blocks target supercruise through inlet and engine management refinements. The development model is Spiral Block I focuses on air superiority Block 2, Coming after 2028, we'll add air-to-ground strike and reconnaissance via modular mission software and Block 3, designated KF-21EX, represents Korea's pivot to true fifth-generation traits. Seoul's 2026 defense budget allocates 453 million US dollars toward Block 3, which will introduce a fully internal weapons bay able to house four Meteor-class missiles or guided bombs, refined panel geometry, advanced, radar absorbent materials, and exhaust shielding to cut radar and infrared signatures. Crucially, Block 3 targets indigenous propulsion, a 16,000-pound thrust turbofan by Hanwha to reduce dependence on U.S. export controls. Manned-on-manned -manned teaming architecture will enable loyal wingman drones for sensors or weapons, pushing the Boromai toward a 5.5-generation hybrid alongside Turkey's CAN, Japan's F-3, and Europe's GSAP Tempest. Variants like KF-21EA for electronic attack and KF-21SA for export are already under preliminary study. The KF-21 is remaking Korea's defense industrial base, with more than 65% localization from radar modules to mission. Computers KAI's supply chain spans thousands of skilled jobs and small and medium enterprises producing sensors, actuators, and composite structures. These technologies spill into space launch, UAV, and autonomy sectors. 
unit price near 65 million US dollars, makes the Boromai a cost-effective complement to about 100 million dollar F-35, letting the Republic of Korea Air Force field a balanced force elite stealth aircraft for deep strike and domestically supported KF-21s for sustained air superiority. Strategically, the Boromai strengthens deterrence on the peninsula against evolving surface-to-air missile threats. And next-generation fighters with sensors and long-range weapons to detect, track, and neutralize before harm. Internationally, interest is real. The Philippines, Poland, Malaysia, Saudi Arabia, and others are watching closely. Exports could rebalance a market long dominated by the United States, Europe, and Russia, amplifying Seoul's geopolitical weight and industrial partnerships across Southeast Asia and the Middle East. From thunderous takeoff to vertical climb, ADEX 2025 wasn't just to show it was a statement. The KF-21 Baramai embodies Korea's evolution from importer to innovator, from buyer to builder and exporter. As Block 2 and Block 3 mature with stealth, indigenous engines and loyal wingmen teaming, the Young Hawk is set to soar even higher. Korea's era of aerospace ascendancy has begun. Thanks for watching.